So I just added blinds to my smart home. And when I go into sharp tools and go to manage connections, go to smart things, choose my location and look down at everything. I do not have the blinds that I just installed in SmartThings. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. If you have something installed in SmartThings and it's not showing in Sharp Tools or it's not giving you the option to authorize it with Sharp Tools. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. And like I said, in this video, what I'm gonna do is gonna show you a better way to authorize new devices with Sharp Tools. And the way we are going to do that is we are going to go into the SmartThings app. So I'm just going to go into the SmartThings app. All right. So once you get into the SmartThings app, you'll just want to go over to the automation tab at the bottom. Tap on that and you're going to have your scenes at the top automations in here as well. And if we keep going down, we get to the smart app section. And what you want to do is just find the smart app that you're having trouble with. So in this instance, we are having trouble with sharp tools, not finding our blinds. So we're going to go into sharp tools here. And here you can authorize what sharp tools has authorization to use in your smart things. So we can see it has switches, motion sensors, locks, sirens, thermostats, media controllers, music players, media playbacks, colors, valves. All this stuff but the blinds do not fall into one of these categories so it is not showing them as an option so in sharp tools you only get this first page essentially um, so what you want to do is tap the next at the bottom and in the smart things app it gives you additional options so i'm going to tap on which actuators and i'm just going to choose the blinds that I could not choose before and then tap done. And then the same thing is you, if you have any other sensors or whatever that don't show up, um, that would show you all of the sensors that are available, not just the ones that fall into the categories previously. And same thing with refreshable devices, um, like the blinds are here again, we get them in one, um, we will be good. So if we tap on done here, those should now be added to our sharp tools. So now let's go over to sharp tools again. All right. So now if we go into the rule engine of sharp tools and we tap new rule here, and we're just going to say blinds test and just testing blinds. And I'm going to put in a time trigger and I'm going to say sunset and say 60 minutes after sunset every day. 60 minutes after sunset at our home location. That's going to be the trigger for these blinds. And we're going to tap on the flow now and then put in some actions here. We're going to choose device and now we're going to look for our blinds. So here our blinds now show up and we want to close our blinds. And we're just going to go ahead and add each of our blinds. All right, so there we go. We've added all of our blinds and we just tap on save. And now we just created an automation. So every day, um, one hour after sunset, it's gonna close all of our blinds. That way no one can see in our windows and spy on us. So as you can see, this is much easier than going into the actual Sharp Tools app online. Just go into your smart app section of smart things go into the app that you're having issues with, choose it, and then you'll have additional options to authorize other devices. Um, you will be able to add everything that goes into SmartThings into Sharp Tools. So if you run into this issue, that is how you solve it. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I read and reply to every single comment. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.